This is Myra Elaine from the Buying Space channel. You may notice that my voice is a little different. Today I had parathyroid surgery. Now what is a parathyroid? It's not a pair of thyroids. <laughs> you only have one thyroid in your neck. But you have four parathyroids. And those parathyroids are responsible for the regulation of the calcium in your body. And I had hyperparathyroidism. And I had known it for decades. But I kept it that way because I wanted excess calcium in my system. Now I have to say this. I'm a cancer survivor. A 25-year cancer survivor. And I had rectal cancer, where I had a polyp hanging out my anus so far that the doctors for years thought it was hemorrhoids. It was not. It was a polyp. Pedunculated <laughs> hanging out my butt. <laughs> so, I went to the doctor and I said, this is not, this is not hemorrhoids. So they tested it and had a high nuclear grade of cancer on it and I had it removed. But I was at risk for more cancer by other polyps forming in my intestines. So you might say that you might wonder what my ass has to do with my neck. And this is it. When you have polyps form in your intestines, you can prevent them by taking an excess amount of calcium. And here I had a parathyroid that was causing me to have an excess amount of calcium in my body, which is absorbed by the intestine. So it's great to prevent polyps. It's like you're taking huge amounts of supplements every day. Well, this went on until this year. And I found out that I have osteoporosis. Now, what was causing me to have osteoporosis? Excess calcium. It was the parathyroid mis malfunctioning was causing calcium to leach out of my bones. The excess PTH in my system was causing that to happen. And it was weakening my bones. And for years I thought I had arthritis. And then the doctor told me, no, it's fibromyalgia. You know, and, but I've been diagnosed with arthritis. Both kinds. It was none of it. It was my parathyroid causing calcium to leach out of my bones. So, that tipped the scale. I am going to be taking calcium supplements to keep my intestine healthy, but I am not going to have calcium leaching out of my bones like that anymore. So it's time to switch. And the bad parathyroid, there's four parathyroids in your body, and they're just little teeny tiny, um, like rice-sized glands next to your thyroid and I had one that was bad. You can have four that are bad. So please, if you are deficient in vitamin D, that's one of the signs. So go ahead and have your calcium level checked because if you're low in D, high in calcium, then have them check your PTH levels because you might not have arthritis. This is particularly prominent in women over 50. Now, the other people can get it. I've read an article about a little boy that had it that was an athlete, and he couldn't play his sport anymore because his bones are so weak. So, please have this checked. And also, do not take this as gospel. Do not take this as medical advice. Take this as Myra sharing her experiences and having her opinion. But... It's a good place to start if you're having bone pain because this is one of the things it could be. And I'll give you progress reports as I go through this 
and my voice is supposed to improve in 24 to 72 hours. So we'll see how well my voice improves over time too. Have a wonderful and blessed day everyone.